Hi, how are you doing? Um, I was just um, I was going to do um, like an unboxing for um, a screamer which I brought from T9. Um, they've literally come in stock. Um, got listed on BMFA and uh, I thought I had to have one. Um, but this obviously just turned up today. There was a bit of an issue with it. It should have been on Friday, but there was a problem with UPS. I did call. Um, but this is how it turned up. Completely battered. Um, ripped open here. Look, it comes open. So I don't know what the state of it is in. Um, I just see it's a bit disgusting. All I've done is took off me um, my name and address off of these two parts, uh, packets on the front here. Um, but it's horrible, absolutely horrible. So I'm just praying that there's no no damage at all. All right. Right, so here it goes. Um, let's go for it. I'm just praying no damage. This is the first look as well. Um, so I'm really praying because it's uh, so that's it and a bit of bubble wrap. Oh God, this is this is scary. Looking, oh, it's looking all right at the moment, um, but oh, Jesus, if this is undamaged, I'm going to be shocked because it's absolutely disgusting. The stuff gets thrown about the way it does, um, but we we might be looking okay, I think. Very well packed. But, hey, um, so I think we, we might be all right. Screamer. Only about the tips, really, that concerning. Yeah, it's looking okay. I tell you what, very, very lucky, very lucky. I think. But well, obviously, we'll, uh, we'll we'll take it all apart and uh, we'll see. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed uh, with the quality. As you know, I've got the um, the Mini Q and the Magnus, and uh, made by the same company. Uh, I think it's TG TJIRC. Um, yeah, two meter uh, molded model um, at a fantastic price. Um, I worked for the glass version because um, that was the only one they had in um, yellow and blue, which you all know is uh, sort of my colours. Little tail planes. They look to be undamaged, which is fantastic. They're all sort of packed up there. Uh, let's have a look at the other wing. This is the one with, with Screamer on. Tip looks okay. That's alright. 
I'm very shocked to be honest with the state of that box that it got here okay. Um, yeah, I will be contacting Team 9 to tell them um, that, you know, it's uh, probably not acceptable for stuff to be thrown around and they've got fragile stickers on it but I think that to any courier is um, just means you can throw it about, doesn't it? That's quite cool. I believe it's uh, eight mil servos again. Ring the wing. Um, yeah, that looks quite. That's a decent depth there. Um, obviously, they uh, say that it's all internal, so you can um, do an ID, IDS system in here. So you've got no linkages on throw uh, on on show, but. Um, it might be that back edge there too, what I've got. I've got a wing servo kicking right here. Standard one. Let me have a look. I've got a MKS standard 10mm uh, servo on a frame here. So get a, uh, all that in. model ladder unfortunately uh, not to say goodbye to but uh, let's have a look yeah no they do they stick yeah they stick out on the frame sit the either on they stick out so yeah it is a uh, eight mil survey you might be able to get, yeah, you can get a possibly get away with standard servo on the uh, on the flap. Maybe still looks very flush at the back now. It'd be eight mil, eight mil servo. You could you could get if you weren't too fussed. It's sticking up. It is sticking up on the back. You, possibly on the on the flap you could get away with a standard wing servo, 10mm wing servo, but on the aileron there'll be definitely a 8mm uh, servo on there, but looks like I'll just do four 8mm servos. Uh, it's a shame really because I've got these uh, kicking about that need a home. Uh, straight down there for the wing. And then you've got uh, obviously a, 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 for a bit of ballast in the front, obviously the wing joiner. And then you've got a, obviously a hole straight through for all your leads for your wing harness. Uh, it's quite nice again. That uh, matches my uh, Magnus to be honest on the underside, which is quite nice. Put a bit of that there. So not rubbing on each other. Right, so a quick look at the fuselage. Uh, two carbon rods, obviously for the linkages uh, for the rear. I believe this has a uh, it's mini F3F style uh, type of plane. So it said on the instructions that it got a, a reverse nose like it most F3F models have. really nice quite yeah do you know what lovely for the money yeah so underside no, that's the top of your model then obviously underside for for your servos slip on nose comb which is quite nice little cover for the tail so that looks lovely that's really nice that is really nice I like that, the blue. That'll look lovely. Let's have a quick look at the, uh, the bag. 
basically what you get. Wing joiner, solid carbon wing joiner, a bit of dihedral ink, and two bags. Uh, obviously, servo covers and frame, plywood frame for the servos for the fuselage. Uh, you do get some plywood, full plywood uh, wing servo mounts and carbon horns and just your standard clevis linkages uh, and there's uh, obviously for your tail some ball link um, ball link arms in there for your tails that's quite lovely standard setup um, I don't know which way I'll be going yet um, with servo wise and whether I'm going to do the IDS system or whether I do that system um, I think whatever for was that easiest to do really um, yeah there's no, no detail on there just black and yellow on the tail fits on that lovely that's quite nice it's really nice lovely we'll have to see how we uh, do the linkage on on the tail really and find out how that that pops out, see where that goes. There's no visual, no uh, obvious um, to pop out, no holes I can't see in the tail. This is where it would uh, pop pop through, but there's nothing, nothing there. That, that fits quite nice, quite lovely. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll add some pictures in at the end of it all together, and um, yeah, go for it. Can't fault it for the money. Two metre moulded glider. Very nice. Looking to get that in the air very soon. Thanks.